While Linux is a dominant platform running on big server farms to train AI models, it seems oftentimes it gets overlooked as a client platform. Therefore, many desktop AI tools like ChatRDX, Copilot Plus or ChatGPT's desktop apps are all available only for Windows and sometimes for macOS but rarely, if any at all, on Linux. Therefore, as a Linux user, some is often either left alone or forced to use any web-based online services instead. Thankfully, there is at least one user-friendly way of getting chat AIs running locally on Linux without any technical knowledge or requiring to use a terminal even once. Hi, I'm Vodex Ekerontik and let's get the wrong answers without burning down a rainforest. Install Alpaca As a very first step, we installed a desktop application called Alpaca from Flatter. The software makes it very easy and accessible to install and run a lot of different AI models like DeepSeek R1, Meta's Llama, Microsoft Fee or Gwen within minutes. Head over to FlatUp and simply download, install and run the application. If you have an AMD GPU, you may also want to install the AMD support plugin for Alpaca. Once you have Alpaca installed via Flatback, you can search for it in your local software manager. There should be a section called Plugins or Add-ons. Click on Install next to Alpaca AMD support and restart the application if it is already running. If you have a compatible GPU, be it Nvidia or AMD, Alpaca will pick it up all by itself. However, for GPU acceleration to work with any AI model, there are several conditions which needs to be met. First, Olama has to support the GPU, as Olama is the local software which runs the AI model on your computer. Second, the AI model itself needs to have GPU support as well. And third, if an AI model has GPU support, it also has to support the actual GPU itself. Not all models are compatible with all types of GPUs. To verify if your GPU is supported, click on the hamburger menu and select About Alpaca, Troubleshooting, Debug Information. And copy the text into any text editor of your liking for better readability. If it shows no compatible GPU found, there is no GPU support for the given hardware by Olama. This means, even if the AI model would have support for GPU acceleration, it won't be able to make use of it as it would never get a chance to run on the GPU itself in the first place. Install AI Models By default there are no AI models pre-installed, but Alpaca has a built-in model manager. Simply click on the little AI icon labeled Manage Models at the top of the main window. This will bring up the model manager. Next, head over to Available Models and install any of the listed models. By clicking on one of the models, a sidebar will open up, showing the features of the selected one. Like supported languages, if it is a big model, if it has a vision, which means it can analyze images, if it is capable of doing math, coding and a lot more. Also, you can visit the official website of the model from here. You may want to take a look to verify if the model itself supports the GPU, as mentioned earlier. Also, oftentimes you get multiple download options. Choosing the right model depends on your computer's hardware. Larger models are often more accurate, but also requiring more compute power, memory and disk space, while smaller models require less memory, less compute power and less disk space. Choose the one which best fits your needs. If an AI model is too large for the given hardware, Alpaca will display a little notice as soon as you start chatting with it. Chat with the AI Chatting with the downloaded AI is very straightforward. Close the model manager by clicking on the back arrow left from local models and start a new chat by clicking on the chat icon in the top left of the main UI. Then you can select the model you want to chat with via the drop down menu on the top mid of the main window. Ask any question and let the AI answer it. Running an AI for the first time after you started Alpaca will take a short while because the AI needs to warm up. Any additional requests are a little bit faster. What you can do with an AI depends on the model itself. Some are good at general chatting, some are better as suited for programming, others can do math, some even can analyze images or summarize PDFs or plain text files for you. Or in other words, you can turn your Linux machine into a Copilot Plus PC with data privacy in mind and only running on demand. Benefits and trade-offs Running any AI locally has lots of benefits. Better user privacy as no data gets sent to any cloud provider, more versatile selection of AI models as you are not limited by what the provider offers you, no annual or monthly subscription fees, better power efficiency as your prompt will not burn down a rainforest by running on an insanely huge server farm, no dependence on an active internet connection as Alpaca can work in an offline environment, portability as you can export and import your chats easily and a lot more. Drawbacks are being limited to the computer's hardware, not all the latest AI models might be available, some AI models probably will never be available and maybe a few others. But I personally would argue the benefits outrun the drawbacks by far. Outro. That's it and probably one of the most easiest and straightforward ways of running chat AIs locally on Linux. I hope you found this video helpful and that the AI will not make my upcoming tutorial videos obsolete. Have a lot of fun and a great day.